This is the worst wide receiver in the NFL. His name is Juice Applejack. And today we're not ending the stream until we get him to win a league MVP. And to make things even harder, he's only five foot five. The way that our upgrades work today, every single yard we get with him, we're gonna be able to get one attribute upgrade point. But if we fumble or turn over the ball, then we're going down 10. We end up losing our first game. Applejacks couldn't get it done on the final drive. That's fine. 24 to 23 though. Let's go ahead and check the player stats to see how many attribute upgrades we end up getting. We're only looking at the receiving and it looks like Applejack got 97 yards. He ended up getting two touchdowns and he didn't end up fumbling, which is probably the best case scenario because we get 97 attribute upgrades that we get to go and put onto anything with Applejacks. I definitely want to secure some more catching, maybe some more stamina, maybe route running. We'll have to wait and see, but I am ready to start seeing improvements so that he's not dropping every single ball. All right, so catching. I think I'm going to put 27 on catching. And I definitely want to put some on speed. I think let's just put 20 on speed. So now we have 50 left. And then I think the 25 is going to be on uh, short route running. There we go. There are our upgrades. So, uh... Let's see how well this goes. With the first game done, this wasn't looking too hard. We were catching passes, scoring touchdowns, and I was starting to think that this may actually be pretty easy. Yeah, luckily, y'all were just kind of sitting here waiting for me to get back. All right, Applejack drops his first. Uh, first pass of the game. Um, all right, Applejacks. Applejacks. Pick up this first down, boy. God, catch the ball. Can he, can, do I just get 99 catching or is that too unfair? Well, maybe not as easy as I thought it would be. Turns out Juice Applejacks actually needed some major improvements. Hey, we got to catch that. People are saying green. All right. All right, maybe not wide open. This game was a long grind with so many drop passes, but we were able to secure a couple balls. This game took 30 minutes, but we did end up getting some decent points out of it. Applejacks got 98 yards, so it wasn't a very productive first half, but that second half, we really turned it around. We get 98 attribute upgrade points. Obviously, one of the primary things I want to go ahead and focus on has to be our catching. He was dropping way too many open catches, so I think it's time Applejacks gets at least 50 catching. So catch let's add the 8 to 35 so now we have 90 let's put 30 here so he's gonna be 65 catching and now we have 60 to put onto these so i'm gonna just put 55 medium yeah let's go 55 short as well i feel like this is gonna be worth it i'm hoping at least we won't change speed just yet because he was able to get open i just need him to catch the ball nah y'all really think dallas has got it oh look at tua with the pump thing there's a jet sweep there we go. We figured it out. Guys, wait. <laughs> he doesn't have speed. Yeah, guys, he doesn't have any speed. Wait, why did you guys think that would be a good idea? All right, fourth and 10. We're going verts. I trust an Applejack here. Come on, Applejacks. He's just like that. He's just like that. Y'all better buy a jersey. I want to see somebody buy a Dolphins jersey customized to have Applejack on the back of the man. We're trying to get Applejacks an MVP. So we got to kind of feed him touchdowns. Applejacks, catch the ball. I literally hit you on the back. And it's not like two is just bad. Listen. Touchdown. Let's go. Let's go, Applejack. Juice Applejack. He's so solid. We got to go check the player stats to see how many upgrades we end up getting on him. It's going to be a big game. He had 242 yards. That's why they didn't play him. Applejacks was tired. Honestly, I put a 99 on stamina. I want Applejacks to last long. Hey, yo. I want him in those clutch situations. So right away, catching, we're going to use 15 to go up to 80. That goes to 80. And then we're going to go to stamina. I want to use 75 for stamina because 75 stamina is pretty good. All right. We'll take it. And then definitely for speed. Our speed, we're going to put 50 on him. We're going to make him a 70 speed. So now we have 102 more points. I think right away, I kind of want to increase his jumping. So we'll put jumping to 20. His release to 20 as well, because I do want him to get good releases. We do need to add some acceleration. So let's put 30 onto acceleration, because I don't want to make it where he's burning everybody. And now we have 32. I'm going to put this onto ball carrying. 
because I do not want him to be fumbling the ball because you have to remember if we end up getting any turnovers, that's minus 10 attribute upgrade points. From there, we played a couple games and it wasn't too bad. We were able to get some good yards and even secured some touchdowns. After three games, we were able to make these upgrades to juice. Carrying, we're upping 60. We'll up 60 to go to 92. And then uh, break tackle, looking at 65. And then catching... I'll do the 99. There we go. Those are all of our attribute upgrade points. Let's see what overall he is. He's a 69 overall. I think that's pretty good. So we've done six weeks of this. Let's see if we end up winning a weekly award there. It does not look like we're going to, but in the league, we are still leading the league in uh, receiving yards. We have 1,200 with eight touchdowns, 101 receptions, and we do have to win MVP with Applejack, so we need this to be a breakout game. Let me tell you, it was not a breakout game. Applejack's has kind of been in a rough patch. He's getting his yards, but his team's not playing as well. So how does that actually affect his MVP legacy? I'm not too sure. He only got 147 yards there. Luckily, no fumbles. So we do get 147 attribute upgrade points. Juice Applejacks needs to make something happen. He's getting these upgrade points. He's got 147. I think acceleration is definitely what we got to upgrade, even though it's 82. I think we're going to bump it up to 90. That's up eight. And then this is 12 since we're bumping this up to 90 as well. Our catching traffic up to 99. We use the rest of those points to finish maxing out jumping in some other stats. And now Juice is actually becoming a solid player. However, the real test is going to be if he still has what it takes to be league MVP, even after all those rough starting games. So now it's time to just grind stats for Juice. We are going to be absolutely locked into winning these games and getting league mvp the 20 bits from shadow get a seven touchdown game with apple jacks and my girl will send you a booty pick and i'll donate 1k bitties well now we've got a different goal mom if you're watching this please click off we're not ending this challenge until we get league mvp and a booty pick so let's lock in and get this done apple jacks first touchdown let's go there we go that's what i needed we have to score two touchdowns every single quarter now if we want to complete this challenge okay Applejacks, come on. There we go. Applejacks, second touchdown. There we go. Applejacks, third touchdown. We need four in the second half to stay alive. Applejacks, fourth touchdown of the half. That's what y'all were here for, right? Y'all said get seven? Y'all said get seven with Applejacks? That's money. That's five. That's five, boys. Touchdown. One more. One more. One more for the challenge to be completed. And I feel like, you know what? We got to make this kind of difficult. We're going to make this a bit more difficult. I'm going to call a timeout because I'm like that. 56 to 17, I'm calling a timeout. This is the play we're going for. The jet sweep. How do I get this touchdown? That's how I get the touchdown. Apple Jacks. No. No shot. No shot he's not fast enough ready this touchdown's for you and also to complete the seven touchdown challenge stop the video this probably looks pretty bad but i swear i'm not this hype for the booty pick but mostly because this seven touchdown game is huge for our league mvp race with this we can get through our last few games without having to stress too much and hopefully secure the league mvp trophy so we just finished our last game of the season 42 to 11 sadly we're not gonna get a playoff berth because we had such a rough start to the season but it is time to see if juice Applejacks was able to get mvp it's gonna be one of the first times i think in his history that the mvp wouldn't have made the playoffs just because it was so dominant but before we send to that we do want to go ahead and check the awards because he led in basically every single record he could have so for the games he obviously is going to have the most receiving yards with 410 yards and he's right beside himself with 381 for receiving touchdowns we ended up getting seven in a game for that crazy challenge and then also for catches he got 35 in a game for the season, of course, he's going to be leading it with the receiving yards. 3,527 is what we ended with. For receiving touchdowns, we ended with 46 receiving touchdowns. And then, of course, for the catches, 255. This is when we see if Applejacks is able to get it done. Here's the yearly awards. The moment of truth. You're looking at the NFL MVP, Juice Applejacks. And if you want to see these challenges happen live, then be sure to check out my Twitch. And also check out this video right here where I ran the NFL combine to get my math right. Bro, I bet Juice wants another inch.